Hey guys. So today I'm really excited to uh, share uh, some new additions with you. Uh, you know, it's been quite a while since I've done a new additions video. And, uh, you know, really the past couple, two, three months, I haven't really been buying just a whole lot. Uh, it's kind of built up, I guess, over the past three or four months. Uh, but I do have some really nice additions here today to share with you. Um, you know, I got a table full of stuff here. I think I might have to talk to my wife. We might have to get a bigger kitchen table just so I can shoot videos, you know, like this. Because there's a lot here. Uh, like I said, again, I'm excited to share it with you. Um, I'm, I've actually got kind of a mixture of things. And what I mean is, you know, uh, for those of you who haven't already, you know, I made a, a show of shows video. Uh, and at the end of that video, because it is lengthy, I show the items that I picked up while I was there. But I did include them in this video just in case you haven't watched that one yet or if you didn't make it through to the end because it is lengthy. But I appreciate all of you that uh, have already watched that video, who watch my videos, who uh, who's, are subscribed, who share and comment and everything else. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, please continue to do so. It encourages me and, and keeps me motivated. But um, again, I'm going to go ahead and, and bring you in and I got a lot to cover today. So let's go. All right, so here are my pickups from, like I said, roughly about maybe the last three months or so. Um, I've got it kind of sorted out by uh, exactly what it is, like items together. Um, like I said, some of this is show of show. Some of this just random picked up at like the Goodwill bookstore or, you know, antique stores or just other places or other shows. But I'm going to go ahead and bring you in and let's get started. So right here, I got this World War I pack. And uh, it's got markings on it. It's actually been marked more than once. So really nice. And um, I got this for 20 bucks, which uh, I didn't think was too bad. The guy originally wanted uh, $35 for it. Uh, you know, that's one thing. It doesn't hurt, you know, to ask people if they're firm on their prices. You know, sometimes you can be embarrassed or shy or nervous or whatever. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. All they can do is say no. But um, I got that. Right here, I got this really nice helmet. Uh, I want to give another shout out to Steve Klima. His wife, Kelsey, uh, they're really a great couple. Uh, they have the the um, M1 Helmet Depot. Um, you know, they always set up at the show and everything, and they have their own website. Great couple. Please check out M1 Helmet Depot website. They just put some new items on there, I believe, in the couple last couple of days. So check that out. But I like what really stood out to me is, is the way this is painted. I thought maybe it was by the hippie movement. Uh, somebody commented and said it more looks like something like Judge Dredd movie type sci-fi stuff. Uh, who knows? You never you never know. But uh, it's a World War II McCord front scene. And uh, the heat stamp uh, is, I don't forgot what it was, 116B, I believe it was. And so this would date somewhere around April of 1942. Got that for $30. Got this one right here. This is another World War II McCord. And, um... You see it's got the lieutenant uh, stripe on there. Now that was actually covered up, but I could make out just a little bit of it. So I went ahead and did a little bit of paint removal, and I got it to this. So that's really cool. You know, I like helmets that have the worn look, been there, done that, battle damage, whatever. But uh, like I said, it is a, a McCord. And um, this one, the heat stamp was five... I done forgot again. But anyways, this one was... I believe a 1943 helmet, um, but overall, you know, that was another good one. Got it for $30. The man wanted, um, he wanted $35, so, you know, he works with me a little bit. You know, I'm, I appreciate that a lot. You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, people that sell are excited about seeing younger collectors, um, you know, who are getting into the hobby or have been, uh, which I, I look younger than what I am. Like most people think I'm in my mid-20s. Um, I'll be 34 in May. I got a baby face. If I didn't have a beard, I'd probably look like I was 15. But um, that helmet is going to bother me now. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was 518A. So this helmet dates around May 1943. 30 bucks. Got this World War II helmet liner. It's actually got the last name Floyd on there. And um, the inside's not the greatest. It's kind of roach. It's got a, a, the sweatbands room replaced. But I only gave $10 for it. You know, and I could just put it in one of my World War II helmets, you know, just as a filler type thing. I might even take that sweatband off, but um, not bad for 10 bucks. you know what I mean? Not bad at all. Uh, you know, I know conditions everything, but again, it's just a filler. Um, and that one was, I forgot, that one's a Westinghouse. 
Um, I'm gonna move down here. I got five canteens to share with you. I actually start right here. There's a lady that I met, and uh, she said she had some military items, and she was just looking for them to uh, make their way to a new home. And this one was awesome. This canteen, it's a World War II, uh, 1942 canteen. It's got the flat top on there, uh, the flat cap, and it's got all the countries this soldier, uh, you know, marked in there, which I thought was really cool. It's also got the soldier's name, uh, W. Tilson. Uh, I, she wanted twenty dollars. I got that for twenty dollars, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, right here at the show of shows, I got this uh, really nice set for forty dollars, and it's, I guess it's forty eighth infantry, maybe A Company, hundred and sixty second, you know, regiment. I guess um, really nice uh, canteen. This one is uh, Landers Ferry and Clark, nineteen eighteen. And uh, it's got a really nice cup in there as well. Not bad for 40 bucks. I love Mark stuff. Um, I got this canteen. This one really stood out to me because, you know, I like the one, the covers, especially that look like they're they're soiled. Or some people say soil. People pick at me because I'm from the South. Soiled. Uh, you know, it's got like a, it's like a oily type feel to it, which I really like. Um, this one's another World War One canteen, 1918 right there. And something that's really cool, I didn't know until later on. I didn't know it at the time, which, um, let's see if I can get it out of here. Bear with me for a second, is the cup. You know, and, and for those of you who've been following me know I like stuff that's named, marked, engraved, etched, whatever. Well, check this out. I'm just not getting it out. So I didn't even know it until I got home. But look, this cup is etched in different countries the soldier was in. You got Mylan. Forenzi, I guess. You got Naples, um, Anzio, Rome, Bologna, and uh, there's something on here. It's like Gariza or something like that, which I thought was really awesome. And um, it's also got a name on here. It's um, last name's Williams, but no first initial name, laundry number, anything. But anyways. I got this for 20 bucks, which is a great deal. And like I said, the engraved or, you know, the etched canteen was a bonus. Right here, I got this canteen from uh, a well-known uh, military author, uh, Chris Armold. He's got um, painted steel and steel pots books that he's authored and, and everything. So definitely check out those books. A lot of great information on helmets. And uh, this is a World War I canteen, Landers Ferry Cart, 1918. And uh, what's really cool is this one has... Uh, the disc on the on the cover itself, I guess that's 3rd Battalion, maybe 11th Infantry, which is really, really nice. Uh, no cup, which that's okay. It's dated 11-18. Uh, I got this for $30, so uh, shout out to Chris. I appreciate him uh, working with me on that. And uh, I actually got this canteen today. I went to a military-slash-Civil War show, mostly Civil War stuff there, a little bit of World War One, World War Two, And um, I got this canteen, if I can get it out of there. This one is a World War One aluminum goods manufacturer, 1918, and this is another bloated canteen. It's it's something was in there and it swole over time. Uh, I got about four or five that are like that. Um, I got this canteen with cover for ten dollars. The cover is dated February 1918. I know the snap button's messed up. I might try to do what I can with that, but I didn't even realize it till I got home. I knew it had U.S. on there, but it's got. It's either 2-2 or 1-2 machine gun. It's got an A. It's like Company A, something MG. So that was another bonus I didn't I didn't pick up on. But I'm grateful for that. Right here, I got a little collection of things. The lady that sold me this canteen, the lady that I know, she uh, she gave me this. And, you know, I don't have my hands stuck out. I always, you know, am eager to pay for stuff. But she just wanted me to have it. And it's not in the greatest of shape at all. But, um... You guys might could tell me exactly what this is. It's a fighting knife or what. You know, I've always said there's no way to know everything, but not in the best of shape. I do got like this uh, pilot survival knife here, which is really cool. And um, it's actually dated 10-1976. Show you. Ontario 10-76, which is really cool. And uh, I got that. She gave that to me. And she also gave me this right here, which I believe is for an, uh, I can't even think, uh, 
M1 carbine bayonet. I might be wrong. I'm really tired. I've been working 55 hours a week. My mind is about shot right now, but gave me that also, which is really cool. Moving on here, I got this World War II uh, Type 30 Japanese bayonet with scabbard. Um, this one was made at the Kokura or Kokura Arsenal. Missing the pommel button there, but overall not in too bad a shape. Got it for $35 at the show of shows. Right here, I've got this World War II mess kit and uh, no utensils in there. This one was dated 1942 and is actually one that I don't have this manufacturer. It says wire and metal manufacturer. I got this for five bucks today at that military slash Civil War show and I like the way it looks. You know, most of them are that, that stainless steel look. This one's got the darker look to it, which is really cool. Right here, I got this belt of machine gun, uh, or not machine gun, this belt of 50 caliber rounds. You got armor piercing and, and different ones. I haven't even looked up exactly what all of them are. Some of them have World War II dates. Some of them are from the 50s. This is just something somebody pieced, you know, pieced together just to display. See, those are 1950 or 1943, 1954, 53, 55. Um, got this for 20 bucks at the show of shows, which was awesome. Also at the show of shows, I got this little belt here with five 50 caliber rounds. These are all dated 1943 got these for 20 bucks so i thought that was really cool they're armor piercing and uh one thing is all of these these are live none of these have been you know uh inerted or deactivated or anything they're all live rounds, which is really cool moving on here i got this transportation pool book which is really cool uh mr norman shout out to him he's sold me some great items he's been very fair with his prices so shout out to you, Mr. Norman, if you're watching. I appreciate you so much. He actually sent me this. Uh, it kind of goes along with uh, some other items that I'd purchased from him. But just a really cool book on the history of transportation, Pool 12. That's really awesome. And then I also got this invasion map here. And uh, it's in really good shape. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to open it all the way up. But anyway, it's a really nice map of the European Theater of War. So thank you, Mr. Norman. Right here, I got the Lee Enfield story. And a fellow YouTuber, Keep Em Rolling, was at the show of shows this year. And he had told me he was going to be bringing this. And he gave me this. And I thank him so much. I know this is an expensive book. But he knows I'm an Enfield guy. I love Enfield rifles and everything. And this is kind of like the encyclopedia or whatever of the Enfield rifles. So I'm looking forward to finding time to digging into this. So shout out to Keep Em Rolling. If you haven't already, please check out his channel and subscribe. Awesome man. Right here, I picked up some medals and other things today at that uh, military Civil War show. Got a Army Good Conduct medal. Pretty good shape. It's not named or anything. Got a World War I victory medal. Which the ribbon's kind of worn. It's got some crud on the back. Uh, got a Marksman badge, sharpshooter, and carbine. This one's Sterling. See, it's actually Mark Sterling right there. Got this uh, Combat Infantryman badge right here, which would be World War II. Mark Sterling. Missing one of the little posts, I guess you call it. In the, but um, still nice, though, you know. Got this Major insignia here, and it says Silver Field. It's got a 120th, I guess. But um, anyways, I got those. Uh, the, all this right here for $45, this, this five-piece here. Um, it's not too bad. You know, I might have overpaid a little bit, but I mean, Sterling Silver's got to account for something, right? And then the medals are just cool. So I got this right here, 45. Went to the show of shows. Again, I recorded that. Please watch that video. This is like a guide, and it tells you all about vendors, and there's different ads, directory for the dealers. Uh, there's different veterans and stuff that's set up at the show. I actually met some World War II veterans this year, just like I did last year. And I uh, got some autographs. There's a place for the, the different veg, uh, veterans or guests where they can autograph this. So that was really cool. I got this today. I'm really excited about this. Again, it was at the mid, uh, military slash, uh, you know, Civil War show. World War I uh, Haversack. I believe it's a model 1910. Some of you guys that are more on gear than me can might maybe correct me if I'm wrong. This one dated 1917. Right there. And right here, this bottom half or bottom part is 318. 
And to me, it looks like it's complete. Again, you guys could probably tell me if it's not. But um, really, really good shape. You know, I'm wanting to do a World War One impression. And this was something that I needed. I've got two World War II packs, but I don't have a World War I one. one. That's, a, that's a way to get your tongue tangled or tang tangled. But um, what's also cool about this is it's actually uh, got the soldier's name. Lieutenant L.E. I guess it's Brandon. Company D. Looks like 336. The U.S. I.M.P. or something. A.E.F. Uh, Allied Expeditionary Forces. So that's really cool. I got this for $45, which I think was a good deal. Great shape for its age. Looking forward to doing that impression. I actually got that and then these uh, the medals and, and little badges here from the same seller and the canteen over here. But anyways, uh, lastly, I'm going to get in here. I'll just kind of pan this. I got some new DVDs to the collection. I've got over 500 war movies. Um, they Should Not Grow Old. I saw that in theaters. It was amazing. If you haven't watched it, the way they add color and sound to the World War I film is just amazing. Uh, Gladiator 13 Hours is awesome. Midway I saw in theaters. I really liked it. I thought that was great. Danger Close was is, is so awesome. Check that out. The Battle of Jang Sari, I bought that at Walmart. It was pretty good. It wasn't amazing to me, but, you know, I like Korean-made movies, and uh, that was a pretty good one. Uh, got some books here, picked up mostly from the Goodwill Bookstore. Uh, this one right here came from Mr. Norman. Thank you again for that. Um, this one right here is really cool. I got this for $3 at Goodwill Bookstore. Invasion Diary by Richard Trageski, I guess. What's really cool about this is, let me show you. You know, I like old books and stuff. You know, I, I read a lot. Honestly, here lately, I haven't been reading as much as I normally do. But um, this one is actually dated 1944. And it says first printing. So $3, that's awesome. I got, you know, several books dated from the 40s during wartime. But really, really cool. And uh, lastly, I want to show you this. I got this today. Uh, from the Civil War slash military show, met this author, Al Arnold. And what this is, I haven't read it yet. I did scan over it a little bit. Um, his great-grandfather was Robert E. Lee's orderly. This uh, this man served, uh, and it was it's just, from what the man told me about his great-grandfather, just a great story. I can't wait to read this book. And um, he actually did a lot of history and ancestry and genealogy type stuff trying to learn about his great-grandfather and everything it's a great story from what he told me and he actually signed it for me he said connected at the cross in love he signed it and dated today um so i thought that was really cool so shout out to al arnold uh if you're interested in civil war type stuff you read a lot of books check out uh, robert e lee's uh orderly and it says uh a modern black man's confederate journey al arnold check it out support him if you will but anyways, guys, kind of a long video again, but you see uh, uh, it's worth it. I thank you guys that are still with me. But um, just thank you for all the likes, comments, and shares. And please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I appreciate it so much. And I've just got so many ideas of videos coming, coming along. Um, I'm hoping to pick up some more guns and everything this year. It's been a year this month since I have purchased a gun, so... I got the itch, I guess you could say, to make another purchase, new addition to my gun collection. But anyways, thank you so much for everything, guys. As always, uh, I'll be getting back to you soon. Thank you.